once again and this is a quick tutorial on how to use um, BBM which is a BBC micro emulator um, it is a great um, emulator actually um, if you like your BBC computers back in the day um, this is a good em actually like this emulator um, well I'll say this is the only emulator I've used for the BBC but it's a good emulator anyway um, so it's just a basic um, tutorial so if you want to load up the game you just go run disk and that'll take you to um, where your games are well it ain't near it is in a different direction but it always defaults back to this for some reason I've got it in a different location but we'll come back to that later um, so load disk 0 1 I don't know what that does really. I don't think it really matters if you want to load this zero. If it's multi disc, I guess you can load a tape image, disc options. Uh, yeah, I don't really load state, save state. If you want to save your state or load your state in the game, whatever, with your current emulator, the state it's in. Quick load, quick save. I don't really know what that does. Quick screen capture. So that captures a screenshot, capture screen. Oh, that just gives you the options really um, to want whatever format you want. Um, capture screen, just push that and just captures the screen. Video options, so I've got that on set there. You can change all that depending how big you want your screen. You can even have full screen, capture video. I think there's something different now, I don't know. Um, edit, so copy, paste, translate, whatever that is. It's not a lot of these options I always use anyway. Don't use that. Comms. Tape speed. Normal. We wind it. So printer on off. Whatever that is. View. Display renderer. Keep it on DirectX 9. Whatever it's running. Yep. Full screen. As I say, you can have it full screen. May take aspect ratio. Just can choose your screen size. Direct text full screen modes, okay. Um, monitor types, you can have RGB, black and white, and battle green. So that's pretty good. Hide menu, LEDs. So I suppose you can tell you it shows up the LED somewhere. Monitor blur, nah, we don't want that. I like to keep it the best quality as possible. But you know, BBC enthusiasts might want to have the old authentic, authentic screen but screen reader text view speed real time of course so you can choose whatever you want um, sounds sounds on and off sound chip sound effects okay you can choose the sound effects of your disk drive your cassettes so you can choose the uh, full volume either medium volume low volume part samples here yeah. So there's a lot of things you can do. AMX, that ain't a mouse, is it? I don't know what that is. Because I know AMX is a mouse on the Amstrad. Um, but don't need to bother with that. So you can choose your BBC model. So we got it on the original Model B. Model B. Model B Plus. Or the BBC Master 1 to 8. So you've got a choice of um, BBC models there. Uh, Model B floppy controller second processor if you want a second processor on it um, allow whatever that is a lot of this I don't know as I say I didn't own a BBC so I don't know what it's all about but it's, if you're just playing games with it it's not really important um, so just go through it teletext half mode so yeah these were the computers that gave us teletext wasn't it um, back in the 80s early 90s well 90s 90s 2000s it was the bbc that gave us it was it yeah i'm sure it was that's what it was made for um well they were but that's what the bbc demanded it for um uh yeah so even econet uh teletext adapter on and off so you basically got all these different options if you want to use them options joystick um uh -huh. They don't do nothing. Analog mouse stick, digital mouse stick, freeze when interact, interactive, hide cursor. So you basically got all these other options here. Preferences option. Because I, I, 
I don't know nothing, nothing about the BBC really, but then you got help. But if you just want to use it for gaming, it's pretty good. You know, people are going to say, yeah, it's better to use the original hardware. Of course it is. But the thing is, with me, I don't, I can't afford to buy the original hardware. I don't have space for original hardware. So emulators to me is the next best thing. I have no complaints with emulators whatsoever. They're brilliant. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.